This is the drug project by the Young Psych Boys and Pandoff Psychology Class. <laughs> Got any alcohol back here? This thing will really get your GABA receptors inhibited. They cut that'll me be, off. That'll be ten dollars. Here's five. Cubs win. They cut me off at the liquor store. Said I'm addicted. Now I'm having withdrawals. I really don't care. Cubs win. Good afternoon, everybody. We are starting the show. Have you taken it? Special guest Harry Carey. Uh, hi, everybody. Harry Carey here. Pleasure to be here. Are you okay? Positively excellent. Okay, Harry. Well, the topic of discussion today is alcohol, and it seems like he might have already been into a little bit of that. Don't tell anybody, Norm. I promise I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, Harry. Little information about alcohol. Once you drink more than your body can absorb, you become drunk. <laughs> I've had a spell, Norm. Harry, do you, need, do you need a doctor? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> Harry, are you okay? Sit, sit down. Shut your mouth, Norm. Sit down, Harry. Sit down. A little information about alcohol. It affects the cerebellum, the bronchus area, the cerebral cortex, and heavy drinking for long periods can shrink frontal lobes. It's a depressant, it leads to loss of memory, inability to walk, and slurred speech. Alcohol is an agonist for GABA, serotonin, dopamine, and the endorphins. Will and you shut your mouth, Norm? No, Harry, this is important. I'm trying to get some sleep. Well, go to sleep. Alcohol is an antagonist for glutamate. It increases the dopamine levels by binding to D4 receptors. Glutamate is inhibited and GABA is excited to make alcohol a very good depressant. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, just a little dry heave, Norm. <laughs> oh, boy. Just let me know if you need any help. Increasing serotonin enhances the mood and makes you feel less pain. It's very easy to build up tolerance to alcohol, and 10% of all adults are alcoholics in the United States. Withdrawal includes headaches, nausea, seizures, hallucinations, and anxiety. Which he might be experiencing some of Harry, are you okay? Scary Barry here. Never been better. Well, next time on Have You Taken It, we'll talk about barbiturates. Harry Carey, everybody. Who's it comes to win? What you got for me today, Doctor? Got your little goofballs there. The reds, the barbs. Right here. Where's my money? Don't jerk me around, Doctor. This guy. Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Have You Taken It? Barbiturates, Mr. Harry Carey. Have you taken it? I have. Did you take one before the show? If you are a barbiturate, would you eat yourself? Heck. Would I eat myself? Yes. No. What's going on here? Where am I? Okay, barbiturates. They're central nervous system depressants and they're sleep pills. They make you, they're sleep pills, but they make you act drunk. Yep, you took one for the show, didn't you? Don't tell them, don't tell anybody. Dang, Cubs win. <laughs> they're GABA agonist and the symptoms resemble drunkenness, like I said, make you sleepy. You have anything to say? You're correct. You think I'm correct? I think you are, Norm. Well, I would know a little bit about it. <laughs> Me as well. Alright, to the next episode of How You Taking It. Harry Carey, everybody. Yankees win. <laughs> hey, I really need an upper today. My girl Tina got you. Got that ice. Yeah, there you go. That'll get you good. Where's my money? Five dollars comes win. These things cost way more than five dollars. On the next episode of Have You Taken It? Once again, Harry Carey, everybody. They're after us, Norm. Who's after you? They're after us. They're after you? 
Hi! There's a lake behind me. What in the world? Alright, a little bit about methamphetamine. What do you know? You don't know nothing. Sit down, Harry Carey. Shut sit up. down. Okay, a little bit about methamphetamine. It's chemically similar to amphetamine, and it's highly addictive and extremely powerful to the central nervous system. How, how addictive? I only did one hit. The, you, you did one hit of meth before the show? Yeah. Yes, sir. Harry Carey, sit down. It increases dopamine release and blocks dopamine reuptake, and only 50% is metabolized after the 12 hours. What's going on around here? Meth is dopamine agonist and causes a massive release of dopamine in the system. It rots teeth and destroys body. Good afternoon, Norm. Harry Carey, it seems to me like you're psychologically dependent on this. They're after us. You're having anxiety and you're uneasy because of your addiction. Hey, what do you know? Well, I know that you're psychologically dependent on it. Get it's an addiction. You took one hit. Anyways. I need more meth. On the next episode, how have you taken it, everybody? Harry Carey. This one's a doozy. I need some caffeine. Careful. Here, here's some Coca-Cola. Careful. Careful, Doctor. Why, why are we behind a corner careful, for this one? Careful. Careful. I bought that at the gas station. Good afternoon, everybody. On the next episode of Have You Taken It, Harry Carey. Hey, everybody. Caffeine. Have you taken it? I'm quietly... I'm very disappointed. I thought it was a hard drug. It's quite average. It's just caffeine. What'd you expect? More of a thrill. More of a roller coaster of a time. If you say so. Well, at least you need to know a little bit about caffeine. It has a low dependence liability physically and psychologically. And it's the world's most largest consumed psychoactive drug. Have a Coke and a smile. Have a Coke and a smile. Well, wow, that's Harry Carey for you. It has a low addiction rate. It's a stimulant. It prevents drowsiness. And it stimulates the central nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Your thoughts? I'm very disappointed. Cubs barely win. Well, caffeine acts as a adenosine receptor antagonist, and caffeine can produce a form of drug dependence associated with withdrawal symptoms like sleepiness or headaches. It's tolerance to the autonomic effects and increased blood pressure and heart rate. Heart rate? It seems normal. It's, it's win, probably fellas. going up. Probably, I feel it right now. On the next episode, Harry Carey. <sighs> Hi! What's you got there? A little bit of white lightning. This one was hard to get over the border. How much is this? Ten bucks. Don't jerk me around, doctor. I've been a good customer. We'll call it a deal. I need a little jump start. Good afternoon, everybody, again. Another episode of Have You Taken It? Harry Carey, not sure what he's doing, but he's over there. Hi everybody, everybody wins, everybody. <laughs> Are you okay? What is all over your face? <laughs> Harry Carey, get over here. We need to talk about cocaine. Oh, here you go. Oh, watch out. Everybody wins. What's all over your nose? Upper lip. You yoked. Alright, well... Rah! Cocaine! <laughs> Cocaine! <laughs> Woo! Alright, so a little bit about cocaine. It's a powerly, powerfully addictive stimulant and it's commonly known as blow, coke, crack, rock, snow, white lining, and bohemian marching powder. Where did Harry Carey go? Look at him! Go guy! Go oh, go! Go guy! <laughs> oh, it comes from the coca plant in oh, South America. Cocaine! <laughs> cocaine increases dopamine and brain circuits that controls pleasure and movement. It prevents dopamine from recycling and releases in excess amounts. These excess amounts cause the cocaine high. 
These disrupt normal communication and cause the high. Cocaine is a monoamine transporter blocker and thus an indirect agonist of dopamine receptors. Harry, Harry, get over here. Cocaine! It raises body temperature, blood pressure, and heart rate, and it produces muscle twitches and can cause hallucinations. Harry, Harry, are you drinking out of the lake? I do nothing. On to the next episode. No one. Harry, Harry. Norman's a wild, wild man. Hi. What you need, homie G? I want to see something crazy. I got that acid for you. Some LSD. Good choice. Cubs win. Where's my money? Good afternoon, everybody. On another episode of Have You Taken It? Harry Carey. Hey, everybody. Purple mermaid. I'm a purple mermaid? Yes, you, they are everywhere. I see mermaids, dolphins, beluga whales. <laughs> hey, how about them beluga whales? Did you say, hold on, Harry. Did you say beluga or beluga whales? They're everywhere, doctor. Okay, topic of discussion today, LSD, which... Seems like Harry Carey might have gotten into it. LSD stands for lysergic acid diflamide and it's extremely potent hallucinogen. Your thoughts? Mad cow disease. I think I see a few cows over there, actually. What about mad cow disease? Good point. Okay, LSD. The effects of LSD are unpredictable. Usually the first effects of the drug are felt 30 to 90 minutes after taking it and they can cause erratic emotions. I'm seeing some crazy things, Norm. Some crazy things. What do you mean you're seeing crazy things? I keep things? clearing my glasses, but they're there. Okay. LSD causes dilated people, sweating, nausea, loss of appetite, and disassociation. It acts similarly to, to serotonin, which controls sexuality, sleep, and sensory perception. LSD seems to interfere with the way the brain's serotonin receptors work, and it may inhibit neurotransmissions, simulate it, or both. LSD is a serotonin agonist and a D2 dopamine. Hi, everybody! Agonist. Scary Carrie here, and I'm seeing some crazy things. Describe what you're seeing. What are you talking about? Calm down there, purple unicorn. Okay, that's awfully, it for this awfully episode. Little, awfully Very little. Carey. Howdy, partner. I need something to take the edge off. Yeah. Maybe some Mary Jane. You, you pay me this time? Highly doubtful. Alright. You got your little Cubs win. Huh. Good afternoon, everybody. On the final episode of Have You Taken It? Harry Carey. Hey, everybody. Just tell me, Norm. Did you ever think about, like, paper towels? I'm really high. Paper towels? Right now? Hush your mouth, Norm. Okay, on the topic of discussion, marijuana. The psychoactive ingredient in marijuana is tetrahydrocannabinol. THC, my friend. It's street code. Street code, my friend. Sorry, Harry. It's the most commonly used illicit drug in the U.S., and THC passes from the lungs to the bloodstream and then to the brain to increase your heart rate. What are you doing? I'm really high. I got it. You got the munchies. Wait, did I already say that? No. I have the munchies. Would you like some, Norm? I, I'm good, Harry. I insist. I'm good, Harry. Thank You're you. lost, my friend. Okay. <sighs> THC resembles another cannabinoid naturally producing our brains, anadamide, which regulates our mood, sleep, memory, and appetite. THC attaches to the cannabinoid receptors in the brain and prevents the naturally chemicals in the brain from doing their job overwhelming the system and throwing things off. Hey! Would you like some munchies? Yeah. They're good for you. Hey, you want some weed? I'm, I'm out loud. I smoked it all. I'm really high. Harry, hard. Harry, calm down. We get you really high. Finally, marijuana causes a sense of euphoria and an altered sense of time, and it can be a cannabinoid receptor's antagonist. Cubs winning big this day. Ugh. Big win. Good cup. Thanks for watching, fellas. Harry Carey. Good win! How the reward system works. The reward system means the structures that become activated by, by reinforcing stimuli, such as drugs. When activated, the neurotransmitter dopamine is produced. 
Therefore, these structures are located along the dopamine pathways in the brain. The primary uh, of these pathways is the mesolimbic dopamine pathway, connecting your major dopamine producing area, the ventral tegmental area, to the part of the brain strongly associated with motivation and reward, the nucleus accumbens. Uh, simply put, drugs, are activate, drugs activate the reward system by producing dopamine that is carried down the dopamine pathways to reward systems. This is why we become addictive. Thanks for watching, nerd! <laughs>